Hello, my name is Jimmy Sanders, the creator of the Legends of Draxia franchise, and here is the Corrupted Mana expansion rules explanation. So, in the Corrupted Mana expansion, we have the exact same original game as is, same endgame goals, same basic mechanics of buying buildings, fighting monsters, what have you. What gets added new with the expansion is we shuffle in the lead resource card. Now, this is just placeholder art. We're still going to get the right one, so this is just placeholder. So the lead resource is used to purchase the new corrupted deck. These spells are used to screw your neighbor and mess with the opponents. Okay? In addition to that, we have currently so two new characters to work with. We have the Dread Knight and we have the Warlock. These two guys will get bonus points based on corrupted stuff. So with them, we get bonus points on these dark citadels and corrupted spells and things like that. So it's going to be some really awesome plays with those. On top of that, we have two new buildings. The Corrupted Mine produces lead, the new resource, which is used to buy those lovely evil spells. And we also have the Dark Citadel, which is used to empower these corrupted spells. So this is a new mechanic here. Previously, you'd buy these good spells and they'd do what they do. But these corrupted spells, they am amplify and enhance what the corrupted spell is. So normally, the Enrage Monster spell right here says, adds additional hit points to an enemy monster if somebody's fighting. Well, for every Dark Citadel you have, it empowers this spell by an additional one. So by itself, you go, hey, that person's fighting that monster, take an extra two hit points on top of that monster. If I have a Dark Citadel, I can tap the Dark Citadel, and now it's three hit points in addition to. If you have two, then you tap both of them, and it becomes four hit points in addition to. So these Dark Citadels can really make these corrupted spells hit really hard. So the corrupted spells, as we saw, said right here, enrage monster, makes enemy monsters more difficult to kill. We have Famine. The Famine spell causes opponents to have more difficulty building a building. So if someone says, I'm going to build a cathedral, then you play Famine and go, nope, that costs two more food. We have the, uh, let's see, it is Desolation. The Desolation spell forces opponents to discard resources. So if they went, I'm going to draw some resources, and then you go, nope, Desolation, discard two. We finally have the Exhaustion spell. This one's used to counter opponents' buildings. So if they've got, let's say, two shops that they bought, you could go, I'm playing Exhaustion. Your two shops, they're exhausted, they can't be used this turn. That could be used to devastating effect on players that are focusing on these shops, which are historically the most powerful building in the game. Now you can go, nope, they're useless, which is a lot of fun, adds a lot of counterplay. And finally, we have the new Corrupted Mana Pool, similar to the original Mana Pool in This Is Just For Victory Points. However, this one's points isn't based on how many you own, it's based on how many Dark Citadels you have. So the value of a Corrupted Pool is based on the quantity of Dark Citadels. So if you have one Citadel, it's worth one point. If you have five Citadels, it's worth five points. So that's another fun way to gain some extra points through the Corrupted expansion as well. So like I said, you play through the game just the same way, but it adds that extra knife that you can stab people in the back and adds a lot more competitiveness and a lot more counterplay to the game. Thank you for watching the Rules Explanation video.